Subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and never miss an update from Latestly. When we took on this role, um, we set out what our objectives were for uh, COP26. Um, the overarching objective that we had was that as we leave Glasgow, uh, we need um, all of us, but particularly world leaders, to be able to say with credibility that we have kept 1.5 degrees within reach. Uh, and as part of delivering that, uh, I, um, uh, the Prime Minister, um, you know, other colleagues in the UK system, have been calling on countries around the world to come forward with commitments to cut emissions. Uh, so obviously their NDCs, but uh, also the net zero commitments uh, as well. And I spoke about some of the progress that's been made there. Um, we've asked countries to come forward with setting out plans on how they're going to adapt the climate change that's already happening. Uh, and um, on the finance piece, of course, uh, to come forward uh, and deliver on the 100 billion and, um, you know, Jochen Flashbart, Jonathan Wilkinson, I and others have engaged, um, uh, had significant engagement with uh, uh, donor countries and with multinational development banks uh, in uh, uh, the work that we did uh, in producing the, the delivery plan. Uh, and I've set out where we've got to in terms of the finance piece. Uh, and the final piece was, of course, uh, to ensure that we close off the, uh, the, the Paris rule book. Uh, and these are items that um, we have been discussing uh, for um, uh, six years. And I think uh, it is perhaps very difficult for people to understand, uh, people in our normal populations, for them to understand why it is taking so long to reach agreement on this rule book. So uh, I do think we need to close that off at this COP. In terms of uh, uh, coal, cars, uh, cash, trees, uh, and, and methane, um, uh, yes, of course, those are our, uh, our uh, objectives. Um, you know, we talked about um, consigning coal to history, and I talked about uh, the work that the UK has done uh, in terms of helping to consign uh, international coal finance to uh, history. In terms of cars, um, you know, the UK itself has said that uh, there will be no more sale of new petrol and diesel cars from 2030. Um, we're asking other countries to come forward with commitments to uh, phase out um, uh, petrol and diesel uh, from 2035. I think we've seen some, some positive movements. If you look at um, the, uh, the Fit for 55 package from the EU, uh, I think it effectively suggests that um, new car sales will be um, ultra low emission from 2035. Uh, and again, if you look at what um, the US has said recently, 50% uh, of new car sales uh, to be ultra low emission vehicles from 2030. Cash, I've talked about uh, trees, uh, um, you know, looking particularly at uh, ending deforestation. Uh, there is going to be a forest and uh, land use event uh, as part of the World Leaders Summit, uh, and uh, we will set out at that point uh, what uh, world leaders uh, are signing up to. Uh, and then methane, as you know, there is a, a methane pledge which has been uh, developed by the EU and uh, the US. Um, and um, that will be formally launched at uh, COP, 
The UK is already signed up to this, but we have a pretty good record in the UK in terms of reducing methane. Uh, we've reduced it by uh, 60 percent uh, over the last 30 years and um, are putting in place further policies to curb methane uh, emissions. Um, so I think what we're trying to do is to tie up the negotiations with uh, commitments from governments, but also commitments from the corporate sector and the non non-state non, uh, sector as well. And again, I think you will see at this COP uh, further announcements that come forward from uh, non-state actors. Look, you are a hesitant. What do we want? We want We want that. No! We want that. No! We want that. No! What do we want? Come and justice! We want that. No! Look, Sherman, the UK government are hypocrites. They are opening the new Campbell oil field. They subsidize billions into fossil fuels, yet won't look after the workers who need a just transition. Where is the support? for countries in crisis as a result from our colonial history.